the effect of patent foramen ovale closure in patients with orthodeoxia platypnea syndrome. And these are our disclosures. Um, orthodeoxia platypnea syndrome is a rare syndrome characterized by postural desaturation improved in recumbent position. It is associated with a high degree of right to left shunting, usually via septum secundum defect in the atria. Um, it has been described either with patent foramen ovale alone or in combination with various comorbidities such as pericardial effusion, constrictive pericarditis, emphysema, pneumonectomy, cirrhosis, aortic aneurysm, aortic elongation, pulmonary AVMs, etc. The pathophysiology of um, platypnea orthodeoxia syndrome is complex. Uh, to ensure the high degree of shunting, there has to be a constellation of several factors present. The first one is transient reversal of the left to right shunting that occurs uh, during early diastole or during isovolumetric contraction of the right ventricle. It is also present during uh, various pulmonary maneuvers such as uh, coughing, valsalva, straining, bending over, etc. The second factor is a preferential flow phenomenon from the inferior vena cava, where the blood flows directly towards the PFO as opposed to angulated flow uh, from superior vena cava. The third factor is a change in the compliance of the right heart chambers, where with aging they become stiffer compared to the left heart chambers. Now, this accounts for the refractory hypoxemia that is often experienced by these patients. However, they mention that their condition usually worsens after some precipitating event or comorbidity. And this is where the fourth factor comes in. It's very important. Counterclockwise heart rotation with horizontal reorientation of the atrial septum and positioning immediately, uh, positioning of the PFO immediately above the osteum of uh, IVC. Um, this is a slide called to see JCC uh, Imaging 2010, and it represents the uh, schematic uh, of the atrial septum, how it's viewed from the right atrial area. Um, the circular arrow demonstrates um, the shift of the soft tissue, usually extra cardiac by nature, um, that... Um, rotates um, the apex of the ventricle uh, because the upper area of the atrial septum is more um, fixed. Uh, that's where the vessels attach. It contributes to the uh, counterclockwise rotation and a change of the PFO geometry. Um, in other words, I want you to um, imagine the septum slightly bend with the um, um, apex going a little bit up and externally and the PFO being stuck.